Okay, so we are recording from my phone. I have an awesome new name reading um, for a human from the Netherlands, I believe. Australia, Australia. Oh, Australia. Even yep. better, Australia. Do you uh, want to say how you found me and your interests? I found you. Yeah, I found you through Santos Bonacci, listening to his um, videos. Awesome, Santos Bonacci. Much love to Santos. So this name reading is going to show how. Everything is related from previous lives. Numbers are bodies of energy that infinitely will always visit us to speak for dead people, for sure. A lot of people die before their time to get a chance to even be you and me right now, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So to keep it very simple, this is for healing, to get over our amnesia, and to catch up to today, to save people today from simply having amnesia, believing in this reality only, staying in one place, watching TV, getting into a, a sports, getting into too much sex and entertainment. You see where we're going here. Okay. Definitely. Now, your name is uh, amazing. Your name, your full name, could you please say your full name for the people listening? Craig Allen Weatherby. Craig Allen Weatherby. In numerology, it is 39197551. Jay, slow it down. Weatherby is 155. That is J-H-E, my first name in Chaldean, 155. Is your mind not blown? Yeah. <laughs> That's deep. Then we have 128. Damn it, you have 185 in there. That is my name in Pythagoras numerology. You have merged wow. two. Yeah, but we're not even done yet. It gets even better than that. Your very last name, Alan, has the numbers 513, the prime number of J-H-E, 155 in Chaldean. Is your mind not blown? Wow, yeah, awesome. Yes. Now, very simple. If you look up uh, the, the, the numbers 531, actually, we won't do that right now, but it is the, uh, the, the time period of the city of Assyria, Nimrud, N-I-M-R-U-D. We'll look that up later. N-I-M-R-U-D is the city of Assyria, 531 BC. Now, why am I saying that? That was before Christ, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So Assyria would be the Middle East. Earth is the Midgard. We're living in a reality. We're in the middle of a lot of mess. Yes or no? Mm, now, definitely. your name in total is the number 83. We can flip that to 38. And we can add that to 8, 9, 10. It's 11. And 11 is the number 2. I'm going to blow your mind. The number 2 is J-H-E. And 155 is 11 for 2. So you and I have met in multiple dimensions, yes or no? Wow. Well, yeah. Yeah, that, that resonates. And that's deep, dude. So Australia, I'm in Iowa, it doesn't matter. The earth and the dirt, it sees no separation. Doesn't understand how to say it's different, it's different, you live there, I live there, or I'm black, you're white. It says no. There's a vibration and a numerical pathway that will help us with amnesia. Does the number eight and three or 38 mean anything to you? It doesn't have to, and take your time. Eight and three, eight and three, and 38. No, not really. What about the number 11? 11, definitely. 11, 11 has been um, something on my mind a lot lately, and I see 11 every day. Um, so yeah, definitely 11. Okay, now the number 83 is an older person. It's an elderly person. Now we've all had family trauma and issues. This name reading is also about trauma. You don't have to get too personal, but is there anyone who is an elder who is suffering, who is sick, who has an influence on your awakening that might have been an abusive person or was an abused person? My father is was abusive, but he's 81. So, yeah, it's close. Um, that relates? You know, yeah, okay. Relates. Have you had closure with your father? Yes. Yeah, I've been doing some shadow work. Recently, I did some shadow work with my... Um, with a spiritual healer in Sydney, and um, we uh, dealt with karma from five generations of my father's bloodline. Fantastic. So, yeah. Wonderful. I've been doing some stuff. All right, so now we're going to get into this number two. is very powerful. It's about females. So let me just get into my angel numbers again and just uh, get into the specifics. This one's very deep. So the number two relates to the high priestess, which is a female in a very high position. So this could be a grandmother, it could be your mother, it could be a lover, an ex-lover, 
It could have been, um, let's say, a teacher that you grew up with. So I'm going to ask you now, and there's no pressure to memorize or, or to remember this. Is there anyone, an elder woman or a, a, a powerful authority female figure that has either influenced you or traumatized you? Because I was beaten by my mother, so I'll share that with you. And I was also loved by her, so I had love and hate. So is there any elder female of influence in your life? I'm sure there is. Yeah, yes. Um, would be recently, the last 12 months, I've met um, a beautiful woman who's a medium, a psychic, a powerful medium. And she's been mentoring me in, um, in teaching me in, in many, many aspects of spirituality. So um, last year, I, um, I had a session with her, a reading with her, and, um, and it sort of opened me up. Um, that was December. She said that um, in nothing's going to happen until 2022 for me spiritually. Didn't really understand at the time. And then 2022 hit and I changed from being this warrior that I've been for the last two decades fighting injust injustice like everywhere, you know, conspiracies and you name it. Um, and and then all of a sudden it was like a weight lifted and, um, and I understood what she meant. Like it was like I stopped fighting and I started realizing that everything's divine and and um and you know everything's going to work out and 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 started observing more rather than participating um and since 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 then it, my life's changed dramatically it's um yeah and i respect her immensely she's um an amazing woman she's in the 70s any yeah. sec any um do you know any women that have had sexual abuse um sexual abuse not that i'm uh, not or that i'm aware of my, my wife never yeah. has your wife has um no, she never had. Oh, okay. What about domestic um, domestic violence? Yeah, domestic violence. My mother. Okay. So, my father never uh, like beat her, but like uh, verbal abuse, yep. smashing things, and yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's important to know. So that comes from you and you and I. The numbers have danced already with um, uh, you and me. So I was told I was a king in my past life, trying to find my throne. And I feel like when I do these name readings and my numbers appear within another person's name, you are also a warrior. It's funny you said warrior because you and I have been battling and have been probably doing things in our past to try to make sense out of this reality. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. So now that 100%. we've caught, yeah, now that we've caught up, I'm going to say hello to my brother who possibly you fought for me in a war or maybe we fought against each other and we even maybe killed each other and we reincarnate to come back to heal or to make sense of each other. So we're not looking at right and wrong, good or bad. We're trying to find a middle point to heal people who are confused with their trauma. Now the number two relates to the colors orange and blue. Does orange and blue mean anything to you? It doesn't have to. Um, blue, uh, yeah, orange and blue. I mean, like I, I opened a business um, in 2000 and I called it code orange. Um, and orange was a, wow. was a, I loved it the happy color like um and so yeah i had that business it was a re like a, a streetwear fashion store selling jeans and shoes wow for five years but, please yeah, uh so say the that. say the name of the store again code orange code orange and in the tarot number two was orange is your mind not blown <laughs> wow this is divine and this tarot came before me and you or did it maybe you and i even made the damn tarot think about it all right <laughs> it's deep shit Okay, so also the number two will relate to, let's see here, being a diplomat, a friend, artist. Are you artistically expressive at all? Very important. Um, yeah, I, I am, but um, I don't really do any art, but I, I love art. I have an eye for art um, and anything beauty, beautiful, like, you know, design and, and, you know, anything that's that's interesting and unique. And, um, yeah, I love art, So, but I don't do it myself, but, um, yeah. You're going to love this. You're going to absolutely, because I forgot about this. In the tarot, all of your numbers have what is called a rune, an R-U-N-E, a stone. Your, your rune is Pertho, P-E-R-T-H-O. That sounds an awful lot like Perth, Australia, yes or no? Mm. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. What does Pertho mean, which gave birth to you and me? Pertho means make your own choices and take charge of your own destiny. Does that make any sense to you? It does. Okay. And that's what I've been doing this last very good. Know, six, six months. Keep going. Don't let anyone distract you because it's very easy for someone to come up in there and do a dance on you. Don't allow that. The meaning also pertains to a dice cup. 
Dice meaning to gamble or to roll dice. Do you know anyone who's into making money and money schemes and gambling? Or it could be a metaphor for gambling life and cheating death. Talk to me. Um, I, I, I've always been good at money myself. Does it have to be somebody else? or? or I mean, it can be someone close to you or you. Yeah, either way. Yeah, I mean, money's always been a big thing for me, and, and it's come easy. Like, um, not so much gambling, um, but when I have gambled, I, I, I've, I've lost in disaster. Um, Interesting. So I try not to gamble. Um, Good. Yeah, like it, last year, I was dabbling in cryptocurrencies, and I, and I lost 40K. Um, and, um, yeah, I was yeah. – Thank you for sharing um, that because I'm, I'm going to cut you off. I had someone try to get me on Bitcoin. And I've heard that there were some positive things, so I can't damn the whole thing, but I never trusted it. And sure enough, recently, the whole thing crashed, apparently. So we got to be careful. Yeah. All of that stuff, money is an illusion. You need to get over your amnesia. Your brain is money. Your past energy is money. Your present energy is the money, not the illusionary paper. It also relates to chess, this number two. Do you ever play any kind of chess games? No, I don't, but I used to when I was younger. But, get, um, get back yeah. into it. Yeah, for sure. Cool. It's also about mystery, and part of my language, it is about the vagina or the vulva. Now, I'm going to get into what the number two is. I, I believe that you're also here to help women who have been sexually abused. You don't have to know that right now, but I think that you have someone close to you who is suffering and might need you to open the door and find a way to let her express herself or it could have been a molestation it could even be a guy do you know anyone you don't have to once again do you know any females that have any let's say issues with their lower parts sexual lust i think we've all been there talk to me um not i you know, i've got a close friend who i fell out of contact with and recently i've got in contact with her again and, and she had an abusive relationship so she hasn't actually told me um anything sexually abusive but she's um she's been traumatized to the point where she's now suffering from anxiety and she doesn't hardly leave the house so wow okay uh, it could be her it could be her i think that it is uh that's your high priestess um st keep that bond going and if you can get her to vent and open a lot of my name readings keep it simple a lot of women have been raped bro brother raped and i think you i think you know that um it's obviously yeah, hard to talk about that with men so you have a feminine number, though. So you have the ability, and there's, there's no pressure, by the way. This is just my freestyling and giving you my opinion. Um, yeah. You're a healer of women who have been abused in all ways, for sure. So just know that. Um, your, your divinatory meaning, meaning your divine meaning, is a secret. That's interesting. Do you know, do you have a secret? You don't have to tell a secret, but... Do you have any issues um, or things that are repressed within you that you're having a hard time expressing? Because that's a very powerful thing to have a secret. Um, probably, probably the biggest thing li lately is um, like fear, maybe fear of letting go. Okay. Um, yeah, but um, not. I'm not. I'm. I'm usually like I. I I'm, gov I'm governed by the truth. So truth is um, a very powerful, um, Good for you. important thing in my life. That's the way to be. All right. Now, your corresponding letter is the letter P. Do you know anyone with a name beginning with the letter P? Well, my friend that I just mentioned before, her name is Christy Paul. So wow. it doesn't begin with P, but it's a surname. Um, anyone else? Peter? Not, Paul? Not, not really. Okay. Not no really problem. anybody else. No problem. Paul. Your color now is black. We went from orange to blue to black. Does black mean anything orange. to you? Um, does black mean anything to me? No, but I, I mean, I'm drawn to the color, so um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you how it, it's very deep. Your, your pupils are black in your eye. So now I'm gonna get into health issues. Eyesight, black, hmm. Black also deals with tar, smoking, the beard, the face. Do we have any head, eye, or lower gut issues with you, my friend? Um, re gut, my gut is fine, but my eyes um, in recent years, just the last maybe two years, uh, have uh, started to deteriorate my, my eyesight. I've always had perfect eyesight, and, um, and it's just happened suddenly. Um, now okay. my eyesight, it's not bad, but I mean, like, you know, I've got floaters in my eyes, and yep. you know, just, just 
That's strange. And how old are you, brother? I'm 40, just about to turn 47. I'm, I'm 46. I'm 40. We're the same age. Wow, that's crazy. That's nuts. I am also experiencing a little bit of what you're talking about. So now I'm going to get into remedies. But before I get any further, we're at 15 minutes. How are you feeling so far about this name reading process? Yeah, it's, it's really good. Okay, I, cool. it's, um, it's, I'm vibing with it. It's good. All right. So for your eyes, there, there's some things that we can do here. So you want to get into urine therapy. Do you, do you at all drink your urine? The morning urine is the best one. No. Wow. I've never heard that. That's an Okay, great. Wonderful. So before I even get into that, I thought you might have heard of that because Santos promotes this too. You want to look yep. into phosphorus and etymology means the morning star and your urine. Phosphorus is what makes DNA. And keep it simple, Jay, it's what grows all life. So if you age your urine in a bottle with a sock over it for nine months, the amount of time you were in the womb, it will turn colors. It will turn black because you came from black nothingness and the bottom will be milky. You will see a, a milky film. Why is that, Jay? You came from the milky way from the breast of your mother. Your urine, yeah, is the elephant in the room. It is good for your skin. My hair grew back when I drank mine. So there's no pressure again, because it's not for everybody, but it should be. Secondly, have you heard of an enema flush? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've never had one, but I've heard Please of, yeah. do it immediately. Yes, go to Amazon, or if you can go to a store, they're called enema kits. I'm sure you know what they look like. You want the tube to go up your, your, your bum bum. You want to use your morning yeah. urine to do it. Why? Because urine is also ammonia for parasites. I believe you have parasites yeah. that are giving you the flu right now. I know you have that in your children. And also your eyes are suffering from, let's just keep it simple, years of pop culture, computer, um, chemtrails. You see where I'm going. Bad food. We get it. Yeah. So your animal flushing with your urine is just ammonia releasing all of your parasites. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Fantastic. Yeah. How, do you, how do you do that with the urine? So basically, when you get an enema kit, it comes with a, a bag. The bag should be orange and the tube should be yep. white. You unscrew the tube from the bag. You pour your urine into the bag. You screw it back together. You hang it upside down. You put that tube in your bum bum. You release a little button. It will go into your, 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 your Anunnaki, your anus, or your canal. Yep. Or your colon, your colonist. How do you think your colonist got you and I to get amnesia? They've been poisoning you and me for thousands of years. It's not with yeah, war. Yep. Yeah. It's not with Jesus. It's not with their version of Allah or Abraham. They have gotten into our holy anus, yes, through rape culture and through poisoning our water. So you get the two up your butt. You open up a little valve. You'll feel this rush of warm water go up your, up your, your intestines. You will want to crap immediately. You get a tray, my brother. You want to crap in that strainer and then rinse it out. And you want to look at all the stones that come out of your body and take a picture of it to share for other people to heal them. Wow. Oh, it's no joke. I'm telling you right now, the animal flush would be the biggest thing that people get afraid of. Why are they afraid of it? Because first of all, homophobia. We, we understand the anus. We understand that. Second of all, it's not comfortable to, th to think about something going up your butt. But actually, if we want to get into it, a man's G-spot is in his anus. It's a fact. I'm not forcing anyone to, 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 to try something sexually. But if you want to get into it, your anus is where your, your lower chakra, it's called the shashugna. It's where your Christ is, your kundalini. And if it's sick and has parasites, it's not doom and gloom, but the parasites are going to make you blurry, going to give you flus, going to give you cancer and all this stuff. This makes sense to you. Awesome. All right. I'll try it. Great. Thank you. All right. Now, what else does this relate to? Let me see here. Hmm. I'm going to go back to uh, the, other, the, the other numbers and questions for you. So now we're going to go into it's the high priestess. It's also the moon. All right, so now it is the Cancer in Pisces um, astrology. It is also Cancer in Virgo and Venus. What sign are you? Virgo. Hare Krishna. Am I not on fire, yes or no? You're on fire. <laughs> you and I are the fire. This is why I'm doing this. It's not only about being 
Here's the thing about readings, birth chart readings, they're all great. Some of them can be so confusing though, and it's so much detail that we forget. It's about relationships with things that are no longer here and we're catching up. <laughs> That's it, all right. Spiritual amnesia. Exactly, exactly. Now, your number here is 18. Anything happened for you at 18? Um, 18, yeah, I. it was, pretty big year um that was when i i moved away from from home i i graduated from high school and um i moved away from my family or my parents like because my my father's such a like a heavy shadow um controlling and manipulating and, and i moved away from my father when i was 18 um so wow it was a big step very good connections here this is very good divine syncretism via the paranormal world now your animals are a dolphin or a fish do you have any unique uh, stories or memories that have to deal with fish? Um, unique, not really, but I've always been really fond of um, of fish and particularly dolphins. Like dolphins, um, particularly, there's always been a connection there. I mean, dolphins are a uh, beautiful animal. Okay, you said um, not really, but you spoke too fast, so I'm going to slow down. When we say not really, we have to remember we have amnesia. We all have amnesia. Now go back and think about a fish tank. I know that you have experienced a fish tank within some living situation. Have you not had a fish tank around you ever? Yeah, I, I got big into to, um, aquariums uh, maybe for about five years. Okay. Um, in my 20s. So wait a minute. So you notice how you said not really, right? But then we had to go back. This is all my name reading's about. It is to get you to get back to those, because those are important memories, bro. That would be your Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman or Poseidon. Okay, the hippocampus in the brain, in etymology, it means Neptune's chariot, and it also means a dolphin or a fish, which now means that you're not only someone here to help women, honey, you are also possibly a psychiatrist. You have the ability to talk to people and analyze them in a way where they don't feel judged, they don't feel like a, a study, they feel human. Does psychology um, sound like something of interest to you? Yeah, it does. I mean, like, you know, I've I'm, I'm never been academic, but, um, you know, of course. that sort of stuff, it just comes yeah. comes natural of course. I'm helping people. But, um, yeah. Okay, now your colors here are going to change. It's, it's violet and black. Do you know anyone named Violet? Um... Just a friend's daughter, but not really close. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see, you can't just say just. Everything is connected. It's important. So, yes, it relates to you. So, just say yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I know one person. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why am I doing that? I'm not trying to force you. I want you no, to no, get no, – you, you get it. You get it. Okay, good. So, now yeah, I'm going to get no, into – we've, we've been programmed for so long. Like, yes, like, we have. And you know what's funny? You and I are awake, but even in our awakening, we're still going to have amnesia and say, nah, that doesn't really relate to me. Nah, but it does. Everything, even a rock, is conscious. Okay, we move on from that. Yep. Now, your master relates to the moon here. It's going to blow your mind. Your master is Jesus Christ, also known wow. as – yeah, this is not a game now – Sananda, S-A-N-A-N-D-A. -A -A. Jay, please click on Sananda in the tarot. Now, how does the tarot of Ireland take us to Jesus, Australia, Iowa, and then India? Sananda is an, a Sanskrit term. Okay. <laughs> San Sananda is the, the San Sanskrit term for uh, Jesus. Is that correct? Pretty much. I mean, it's all related. I mean, so I can't say for sure. But I'll tell you right now, Sananda or um, Anan, it's all Middle Eastern relating. It's all giving us closure, I would say. So have you had any interesting experiences with people who are Bible thumpers and they make you feel guilty and you got to go to church? I think you probably have been guilted with the Jesus thing. Talk to me. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe about uh, recently, actually, probably about a year ago, we met, we met them. Um, some of my wife's friends on the beach and um and we because i was going through that that stage a religious um timeline like i was studying and doing a lot of research and then um i was jumping from timelines to timelines and and one of the timelines i jumped on was this religious timeline and um i was doing a lot of reading scripts and stuff and um, books the book of anarch the dead sea scrolls um and i was starting to yeah become quite religious and then um we met these people 
friends of my wife on the beach and very, very born again Christian. And, and, you know, they, they were very, she was very, once she realized that, that I was having this um, religious awakening, she was very forceful um, and started sort of coming out of the closet. Um, and then we did prayer on the beach. Um, but um, I quickly came out of that, um, that timeline because I realized that it's more than just religion. Um, you know, like religions, um, particularly the, the, the Bible and so forth, there's, it's not that they're designed for traps, but I mean, there's, there's stuff in there that's, that I discovered that's, um, it's highly cryptic. There's truth in there, but it's also a control mechanism. Okay. Um, so I, I yeah. I'm going to ask you to do two things now. So please, uh, go to a different screen. I want you to type in this for me cause you need to see this. This is about you and helping others to see what Jesus and what the moon is. So you want to type in these letters, lunate, L-U-N-A-T-E, bone, lunate, bone, and then put M-O-O-N, moon, beside that, and Google it. Please. Three words? Yeah. Lunate, moon, bone. Please Google that. Lunate, lunate moon, bone. Lunate, yep. L-U-N-A-T-E. L-U-N-A-T-E, yeah. Do you yeah. see anything? Yeah, I see. Um, it's a bone in the hand. It's a the bone wrist. in the hand. Is that correct? Yes. And would Luna be the moon in Latin? Yes. Okay, so that means, how are your hands, buddy? How are my hands? Uh, yeah, my hands are good, I think. What do you do? Do you have any unique things with your hands? Do you do anything with your hands? Building anything? Talk to me. There's something with your yeah. hands. Talk to me. So yeah, well, I mean that's our main form of income is um, building houses. Um, so I mean I'm not a builder as such, but we're sort of like um, we develop properties, um, and I get I get hands on a fair bit when we build these houses. So we're up to our um, fifth place now. Um, we're, we're building it as we speak. This time I'm taking a, a more step back approach and letting the builder build the house, but the, all the other houses like I, I I built most of it myself. So yeah. yeah. You know anyone who's ever injured their hand badly? Don't know anybody that's ever injured their hands badly. Um, How about you? Ever hurt your hand? Uh, the worst I ever hurt my hand was when I was a kid in high school and, and I was getting bullied and I got into a fight and I punched somebody and, and really sort of, um, what's the word, fractured my thumb. Now, um, that's I, a great thing you just told me. I have a, an injury from when I was in grade eight and it has rippled and has caused me chronic pain. Chronic pain happens in many forms. So that that's a ripple. Thank you for sharing that. That's a ripple. So that means that that vibration is now echoing and it's still digging around. So just be mindful of people who will be aggressive with you. Be mindful of people that might want to put hands on you or your children or something like this matter. I'm not trying to scare you, but let's just keep it real. We want to make sure that we're physically balanced. So you want to learn how to do a yoga handstand, buddy. Handstands yeah, against the wall. It's so good for your spine. Walking on your hands within reason. I do this at 46. I believe you can do it. I'm not forcing you, but I want to encourage you to work with your hands because you have very skilled hands that can help. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen you do this on your videos. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Great. So if you can try and get a handstand, buddy, that would be awesome. All right. Now I want you to also go to, go to etymology. And here's how you'll spell it when you Google it. It is, um, pardon me, hold on one second here, my battery is dying. So good. So you want to go to etymaline.com. It is E-T-Y-M, E-T-Y-M, online, O-N-L-I-N-E, and then .com. It should be the etymology website. 